Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the next three months. Predictions, July, August, and September 2021. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Make sure that you hit the thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Remember the sign with the most likes and the sign with the most views gets a bonus live reading. And I do answer super chat questions in the live readings, so make sure you are subscribed with notifications what do you have going on for july okay victory i love it victory and success triumph over adversity that was what i just heard now i'll continue on that in just a moment and then here we go august the journey card okay september 2021 Six Chakra Archangel Metatron. Now, I feel that some of you have been going through some really tough times. Um, I, I just heard uh, the death of the ego self. So for some of you, you've had to go through some really tough lessons, some karmic lessons, some um, lessons that, well, absolutely got you out of your comfort zone. Um, they were difficult to face, to understand, to break through. Um, whichever level applies to you, I just feel that it was definitely uncomfortable. You almost didn't know how you were going to just wake up the next morning. That is what I heard. Now, the message I got with the victory card, that is the number 28, which comes down to a number 10, end of a cycle. So that triumph over advers adversity. Whether you have felt that you've been lowballed at work, where you where you have felt that for way too long things just had not manifested or worked out for you in the way that you had hoped for, maybe you've worked really hard on a specific project and then you know at the end of the day you realize you had to scrap that. I'm also feeling that for some of you, I know this isn't going to sound as serious. It it may sound very minute to some, but I am also hearing canceled travel plans so some of you may have had um plans to travel to go meet family to go see family especially now that things are starting to open up again uh, i also feel that for some of you it may have been like a honeymoon or you know just a getaway that you absolutely need with your partnership so you're on this journey but you've had to go through some tough times to get through this path and when you get to September, you get the card of Six Chakra Archangel Metatron. What that tells me is that as you start to heal and clear away uh, people, places, things, situations, uh, thought mentalities, negative self-talk, people that encourage, you know, that negative mindset, that pessimistic mindset sometimes you have to realize that maybe those those uh feelings wouldn't be as strong or prominent in your life if you didn't have someone who was also lingering in that low vibing energy because well then that becomes an energetic force between between the two of you especially if this is a friend family member someone that you live with a partner uh, sometimes, you know, we go through a moment of bad luck and we feel like it's never going to end. Uh, really take a step back and realize that this is part of the journey, a learning lesson. So let's clarify the victory card. You are at the end of, you know, difficult moments. Yeah, see, there you go. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. The star card, nine of pentacles, the page of cups. If some of you were trying to, um, I just heard some of you may have per perhaps purchased a home um started a new business and there was a lot of problems and hiccups along the way where you almost i'm just hearing whatever it was that you were trying to manifest or start or build for yourself it felt like you had the ultimate lemon right of a situation whether it was the person you went into business with whether it was you know the house that you purchased whether it was you know fill in the blank apply it to your situation but i feel as though just when you thought that everything was going to manifest and work out for you you realized okay you perhaps overestimated someone else's ability to pull their weight so you buy a house a car start a business with someone and then you realize that 
you can hold up your end of the bargain, but unfortunately they have not been able to. And it's like apology after apology after apology, wanting to figure out how to make ends meet, how to make amends. At the end of the day, I feel like you standing strong, being grounded and pushing through whatever adversities, whatever it felt like was holding you back, really sets the example for this person. I feel like I almost feel like you really put this person in their place. Like you have to be like, listen, enough with the apologies. You know, if if you spent more time putting in energy and effort into fixing the situation, then the apology wouldn't be so constant and consistent. How about putting that type of consistent energy into, you know, creating this business plan that we had into paying off whatever it was that we may have amounted, you know, in terms of debt, home, purchases, whatever it might be. So what is the end result here by the end of July? Yeah, I feel like you've been the one that has been carrying the burden, except ex especially if the person that you have been with um, has had addictions, codependency issues. I feel like you already knew this about them going into the situation. Uh, you were very hopeful and optimistic and I feel that they knew that no matter what, you'd pick up the slack, you'd be the one to pull them out of whatever mess they got themselves into. And so they get themselves into these messes knowing, knowing, you will pull them out of it. So I feel like for some of you, you really give this person a point blank ultimatum of no more. That's it. Enough is enough. You're old enough. You should be able to get yourself out of the situation. I'm not going to bail you out of these issues, these problems, these situations anymore. What is the outcome of that? And there you go. Sometimes it's like, it, you know, sometimes when you really put your foot down and you outline exactly what it is that you want and your expectations and that you have the self-respect and self-worth that this isn't what I want for us. It shouldn't be what you want either. We should be on the same path, the same journey. And if you're not, because it looks like a solitary journey then you're really at that point of, if I need to go at this alone, I will. If you're not in a place to join me and be by my side and continue this, then see your way out. I know I can do this on my own. So that is a very important message for some of you. It's really that self-empowerment, that self-respect. Self-respect brings about that self-empowerment that really allows you to set up boundaries, put your foot down, draw the line in the sand of no more. Like I've bailed you out, I've helped you, you know, in more ways than one. For some of you, it is your children who have not, not entirely grown up and been responsible. So moving into August, tell me more about this journey for Aries. Oh, two cards. Okay, six of wands and the magician card. So, you know, you come out of, you know, the battle, the tug of war, not getting along. You come out of it, you know, and onto a new path, a new journey, and you're able to create the life that you want. Whether or not this person comes along for the ride is really up to you or really up to them if they finally get it together. So does this person join you? You may have to cut this person out. I also feel that you may have to really, it's going to take a, a few times of them crashing into the boundaries that you set up for them to realize, yeah, we're not going backwards anymore. We're not doing that anymore, right? Yeah, I know what I want. I know what I'm worthy of. And you seem to, you know, think that you can continue doing the same old, same old, and that's just not going to fly with me anymore. A lot of communication is going to come out. Uh, major line in the sand. I keep seeing that. I mean, it's not like just a little tiny line in the sand. It is a huge indentation. It's like, it's like it, somebody dug out a trench, and it's like, yeah, there is no line in the sand anymore. This is a freaking trench, okay? And if you don't watch your step, you're going to fall in there. So pay attention. Do what you got to do. We can both hold this down. I know what I want. And you decide. You come in and go in. So are they? Are they coming or going? And there you are. Queen of Wands. Nine of Cups. Nine of Wands. Again, 
nine signify you're almost there you're almost at the finish line i feel that you are in this very much empowered position you know of i've been there done that with you we're not going back there anymore i know what i want for myself i know what i want for my future and it's clear that we're not on the same page it's clear that you're just going to ride my coattails and i'm not okay with that so you know start looking for another place to live start looking for a way out of this business situation start looking for you know a, a job that you can be able to support yourself you know whatever it might be it's different for everyone so let's move on to september i feel that by the time you come into september you're going to realize that you've been in this spiritual journey uh, of growth and healing for quite some time so what is archangel metatron have in store for you. I feel like you're going to have a lot of intuitive hits. You're going to be very clear moving forward about what's next from here on out. And when I said that the three of wands, you know, flies out. So obviously, like I said, September, you'll be very clear about what it is that you want for your future. I feel like you'll be standing there and you're going to look back at July and September and say, okay, um, I can't believe all of that happened. But now I'm looking forward to whatever's next for me. I feel like you'll be also feeling like you deserve or that you're waiting almost for like a big payout or a big bump in um, home matters, financial matters, uh, a sense of stability and growth. Uh, the key here is not to wait for that to appear. The key here is to be grateful for your journey, how far you've come and as you notice everything that you've gone through, as you've noticed how far you've come and that you've done the inner work, the shadow work, the self-love, self-respect, healing work, you start to gain a momentum of getting out of this three of wands so that, you know, you're not waiting on land far away from those ships to come in. You're on the edge of, of the ocean there. You're ready to like jump into the water and start making your way to those ships. You know, you're you're building your own boat moving on here. Yeah, see, page of wands, new beginnings, uh, new opportunities for new beginnings. And well, you may have more than one choice about how you move forward in love or a job that you love, a business that you love, a place that you love. It is definitely some sort of... You know, now that I've gotten a taste of a joy, peace, love, tranquility, abundance, groundedness, do I really want to go back to the way I was living before? Hell no. That two of pentacles should be in reverse, meaning you already know what it is that you want. There will be a part of you that will be tempted to going back to old ways. Make sure that you have your boundaries reinforced there. Yeah reinforcing them there is no shame in reinforcing boundaries and setting you know certain people straight in terms of what your expectations are so that you are able to work things out compromise meet each other halfway it doesn't necessarily have to be my way or the highway although i feel like this person is kind of pushing you to that level like they're saying i know what you want but i can only give you this much and so take it or leave it and they don't think you're going to leave it until you decide to leave it and they're just like okay what do you want from me and they're very stubborn i really feel like this person is very very stubborn about wanting to do the work wanting to do the healing wanting to put their fair share of time energy love effort whatever it might be money for some of you yeah at the end of the day i feel that things will start to move forward very very quickly you'll be able to see things very black and white so that you make a much more educated guess and decision moving forward what is the overall outcome moving into fall beautiful energy that is your energy with the full card aries and the ace of wands finally finding the passion in life again like i said you get to this point of i've got a taste for love stability contentment joy peace whatever it is that you feel that has been lacking the majority of the time from you know now until or you know back when until august and then you start realizing it you know i don't want to live the way i lived or what i settled for in the past i'm ready to jump out there i'm ready to take that leap of faith i'm ready to go towards what i love passion zest for life and you will achieve it aries beautiful let me pull some wisdom of the oracle messages for you to tie this up for july august and september so let me have one for july 
go the distance. Who's who's reading that I just do? If you're dealing with a Capricorn, especially because I see the devil card here, they also got the card of go the distance for the month of July. Um, you know, essentially is putting in the work doing the extra work and knowing when something has ended and when you've got gotten to the end of the road it is also math number 47 which comes down to an 11 master number for manifestation now treasure island with the journey card however this is in reverse okay so i feel like you think that what you've been doing so far has gotten you to the life that you want, the relationship that you want. Now you might be with the right person, I mean with the person that you've always wanted, but you're gonna start to realize that for some of you, not all of you, maybe this wasn't the right person for you. I feel like you've had a sense of false hope for quite some time and as you go on through this journey, you realize that maybe you force the universe's hand on making something work that probably was not for your highest good. And what Spirit is saying is through this journey, you will discover your tribe and who the right people are for you, who you need to be around, you know, with, you know, who you should be spending your time with. But also, I feel like I just heard you need to reevaluate who you do spend a lot of time with, who you do um, extend your energy to, and also whose energy you are absorbing because not all our people are our, our people or are for our highest good. Um, and they can be emotionally, mentally, physically, financially, spiritually draining. So be, be mindful of that. And let me have a card for September 6th Chakra Archangel Metatron. Let's clarify that, please. Beautiful. Truth be told, again, your third eye chakra is absolutely going to be vibing high in a very healthy state, doing the healing work, trusting your intuition, allowing you to really set forth those boundaries so that you can take that leap of faith, so that you can honor yourself and moving forward and being completely honest with yourself about, you know, perhaps past errors, mistakes, things you settled for, people you settled for. Maybe you didn't do enough work. Maybe you did too much work. Whatever the situation may be, I feel like Archangel Metatron really helps you in this point to be more successful by facing your fears, by releasing what it was that maybe you had settled for for way too long. So it's it, by September, I feel that you will be able to really confront your fears, be honest with yourself about how things manifested who you wasted time with, who really is good for you, who isn't, uh, the type of job maybe that you worked so hard in getting, maybe now you realize you don't want it anymore. It is a different situation for everyone as it is. I am reading for the general audience. So I'm sending you guys so much love. This is your three month forecast, July, August, and September for my Aries friends. Remember to hit the thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Double tap that bell to get notified of all the new readings. I will be going live to do the bonus readings. And, um, you know, when I do bonus readings, I take super chat questions, okay? So make sure you check those out. Um, and that's it. I'll see you guys really soon. Your weekly reading is coming out after this. Take care. Bye.